This video is very, very important for all researchers. O-R-C-I-D. It is basically a digital number which contains all your information such as your qualification, your affiliation, where are you working, how many grants you achieved, number of publications and how many articles you reviewed or other activities in a single regard. For instance, if you look into the Google Scholar, Google Scholar only lists your publications, right? But this ID links or compile all your informations. It's basically connect your research to other people's research. It also connect you with other researchers. So I will show you that without this ORC ID, even you cannot submit your research articles because some journals make it necessary and make it important that you must have to make your ORCID profile first, right? I will show all these details uh, in this video. Before uh, going into detail, uh, let's see uh, in my last video, I talked about that these are basically the parameters, these are basically uh, the tools uh, where you can take help uh, uh, to target your potential uh, supervisor or group or to select your best material or which uh, applications you have to work on. Uh, this is not limited to only material science students. This is uh, valid for all students, but you have to change these applications. For instance, you are looking for artificial intelligence. I don't have any problem. Uh, you are looking for civil engineering, right? So ORCID is also very, very important parameter in searching your potential uh, supervisor or your potential group, right? Now let me show you uh, its importance and how it is uh, uh, powerful, right? Uh, first of all, let's see, this is my ORCID uh, number. When I copy this, and uh, uh, let's, uh, let's go here, you will see here, it how easily it takes me to my profile. You see here, this is my camera wall here. This is my uh, uh, ORCID number. If you, if you copy this both, so, because this is uh, the domain of this website, so it will automatically open in the uh, new page, right? So look here, it's my, uh, uh, I can edit my record because I have not completed. Uh, these are my biography, these are my employments here, and my qualification, and this is my research, I, I have 34 documents here. And if you look, come down here, so I basically uh, review these journals, advanced fiber material, advanced fiber materials, and coating, energy advances, etc. right? And it also have, uh, give me some other uh, ID here. If you look into the scopus here, uh, because uh, when, when my when researcher go there, so it can also go to my other videos, right? right? You see here, this is my scopus uh, profile. So it is also hopeful, hopeful you can know more about me Right? This is all about uh, my profile. Uh, now let's sh let me show you that how in research article uh, they put the, this ID basically. You see here, uh, if you look into this, uh, uh, you see here, this is a four, 12 digits uh, a number after every author. You see here, these two author does not have. You see here, they, they, they don't have the or, or RCD, but they, they have, they have here. We may click here, it will automatically open uh, his profile. This is Mansu. You see here Mansu? So basically it automatically open here and you can see his activities here, all his detail here uh, in this uh, uh, profile, right? Now let me click on this one, second one, uh, you will see more here. This is uh, Ju Hong No. Yeah, this is Ju Hong No. Correct. Uh, if you look here, so basically you can uh, get a lot of information uh, from this you know, see he is associate professor school of civil engineering and architecture engineering uh, from 2017 to present you see here so you can also click here to see more detail right you can also he see his uh, research work and if you look here uh, how powerful he is so he reviewed ACSC applied material energy material advanced material more powerful than me you see nature he reviewed nature journal Nature communication, nature energy, oh, nature photonics, oh my goodness. So this means that, uh, recast last, last modified recently, you see here, 
this is such a powerful uh, profile, uh, so you can connect with him, uh, you can connect with this researcher, you can connect with his research. This is why I say that this is basically uh, connecting uh, research and a researcher, right? Uh, now, let, let's see here, I also put this uh, ORCID in my uh, uh, CV, you see here, because this is very, very important, because people, people want to see that this is work, right? And if you look into the uh, 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 research article, for instance, this is the nano, nano, nano energy here, and this is a, a nano scale. Uh, this is nano scale, right? So if you look into nano energy, so for, for example, if I write here nano, nano energy, nano energy journal, this is Elsevier journal. So if I click here, so you will see that without this, uh, you cannot sign or submit an art article, you want to submit an article, so it will give you option. The option is basically login with ORCID number, you see here, login. This is such a great thing. Uh, now let me, uh, let me go to the, uh, for example, nano scale journal, uh, nano scale uh, journal, this is RAC journal, this is nano scale journal. So submit your article, for instance, you want to submit your article. So you see here, this is also login with ORCID ID. This is wonderful, you know. Nowadays, this, and you want to, when you want to register, uh, because I am already signed in, so the, in this ad, uh, general, so you, you cannot uh, enter without this. You see here? So this is basically uh, all uh, information about ORCID. So you can uh, make it very easily. You just go to this, uh, uh, website ORCID and put your credentials, then you will make your ID something like this which with, with the uh, 12 uh, digits. So this ID is uh, basically very, very helpful. It, it basically, the symbol will be look like this. It contain all your information in a single profile. So do not miss this opportunity and the abbreviation is ORCID basically Open Researcher and Contributor Identifier. This ID is from this ID, and this is from C, you know, O from here. This is basically a 12 digit number, right? And it is very, very powerful uh, ID. Uh, every uh, researcher uh, has this. Ah, and you, you know, for instance, uh, th there are many ways to connect here. For instance, if you know here, uh, some guy, uh, let's suppose here, uh, let me write here, for example, uh, this name. Let, let me take from here one name, for example. This. So you, they will give you a lot of options, but at least you can search people here. You see here, so many people they give, and they have this ID. Civil National University. Maybe this is the right one. Civil universities. If you look into this, the affiliation. So they have three affiliations. So civil. Yeah, this is civil university one. You see here. So this is uh, the how powerful is. So you you go there to his. Uh, ORACID number. So it gives you a lot of broad spectrums. You see, uh, you can see any name you search here, <laughs> you will get uh, information about uh, this ORCID in your researchers, right? And th there are so many other uh, informations, but now it's up to you how you to uh, improve it and how you have to make it uh, uh, for you. Right? This was all about uh, ORCID.